Hello everyone, welcome to Austin channel. My name is Peter. In this video, I'll be checking performance of aqua graphene coating. Uh, the coating has been applied on this car last year in August, so it's roughly about nine months since the application. This car belongs to my worker, so I know for sure that the car was maintained properly since the application. Uh, there were proper chemicals used for washing. Also, the frequency of maintenance was uh, at very good level as the car was washed every two, maximum three weeks. However, since the application, the car didn't get any decontamination. Uh, so to see the full abilities of the coating, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use tar remover, I'm going to use fallout remover, uh, unclog the coating if it is clogged and we'll be able to see at the end of the video uh, what sort of water behavior this coating has after nine months. Water behavior is the very first thing that we resolve on any coatings. Uh, this coating is 4 coating. I would expect minimum two years uh, of good water behavior from 4 coating. So let's start the cleaning process. So there's four products I'll be using for this job, uh, starting from first one uh, with a little bit funny name. Uh, this is tar remover, it's paraffin based, uh, it's very safe tar remover, it can be used also on waxes, uh, it doesn't harm any sort of protection. Normally I would be using Vasco pre-wash uh, for tar removal, but in this case there is very little tar on this car, so this product will do absolutely fine. When it comes to snow foam for the pre-wash, I'm going to use uh, Clintel citrus foam. Uh, this is gentle foam, there's no really need for this car to, to be using any strong chemicals. So this foam will do perfect. The next product is ADBL Tiny. Uh, this product is acidic based shampoo with pH about 6. Uh, this type of shampoos are perfect for unclogging coatings. Uh, I've used this product a lot for coated cars and I think it's one of the best out there uh, from what I've tried. And the last product we have here is ADBL Vampire Liquid uh, Fallout Remover. Uh, for the fact that the car hasn't been decontaminated uh, since application of the coating, I presume there is a good bit of fallout on the car. So I'm going to leave the tar remover to sit on the car for about 10 minutes. Uh, and of course, the fact that I applied it on, on dirty car, I'm going to rinse it off so it will be contactless tar removal. So now I'm ready for the contact wash. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do it a little bit different than we would do normally. Uh, I'm not going to use shampoo uh, from a bucket. Uh, that's because the dilution would be too big. I'm going to just to use the shampoo directly on the meat and have pure concentrate going on the paint. And in this case, I'm going to leave the shampoo to sit on the surface for as long as I can. Uh, also, in the meantime, I will agitate it a couple of times. So that should help to properly unclog the coating.
So now we can see that after using the acidic shampoo, the hydrophobic properties came back nicely. Uh, even though the properties are not as good on this part as here, I still think that for coating applied nine months ago, uh, the product does pretty well. To recap this video, all I can say, I think the product does really well, uh, even though there is difference in hydrophobic properties what's on top uh, compared to the bottom. However, everyone knows that the bottom part is always uh, exposed to the harshest conditions. Uh, that's why the, con the hydrophobic properties are changed. But the biggest thing in case of this car is that the car got proper maintenance uh, all the time since application but it never got any top ups. The car was never topped up with any quick detailers, uh, with any sealants, etc. The coating is a four year coating. Uh, however, when it comes to any sort of coatings, I know for a fact, as I've tested many of them, that uh, there's no coating that will have perfect hydrophobic properties for all the duration without adding top ups. Overall, when it comes to durability of any products, any coatings, sealants, uh, waxes, uh, one part of durability is what the product itself offers. Obviously, preparation before application uh, is big part too. Uh, however, the biggest part of that uh, durability is proper maintenance. So if we want coating lasting for a long, long time, uh, for testing it's okay to don't use any top-ups, but definitely for long durability, I would uh, recommend to use even quick detailers every couple of months to sort of build, rebuild the hydrophobic properties and that will keep the coating in perfect condition at all the time. So that's everything in this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment below. If you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe my channel and see you on the next one.